Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys what I recently got from Ulta. I put up a poll on my community tab of YouTube asking you guys where I should do my next haul because I was really just stuck in between whether I should do some that I've done before or try something new and honestly you guys wanted up picking Ulta. There were, it was Ulta and Sephora like back to back but I was hoping to get like some other recommendations. I put like Dose of Colors on there and then I let you guys pick. So what I want you to do before I even get into this video, where do you want my next haul to be from? Not Sephora, not Ulta. Let me know down below and I'm going to do a haul from that company just because I do love me some Sephora and Ulta, but I thought that it would like mix it up, but everybody dang sure went for Ulta and Sephora, which does not surprise me at all. But let me know down below where you guys want my next haul to be from. But before we get into the video, I just want to say if you're new here, hi, I'm Jamie B. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel and my video. I do new beauty videos every single week so make sure you do subscribe and hit the bell notification before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my cool videos coming and without further ado we're gonna get into this haul I'm so excited we're gonna cut her open it's a little box but like I got a lot of stuff so and I got some stuff that I've never actually like tried before so if you guys want to see individual reviews obviously let me know down below and I will get an individual review up for you so the first thing I got was the Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Bronzer and I got it in shade Deep Bronzer, okay. It says something else, but I cannot pronounce that. This is not new by any means. So it comes, oh, I don't really know how I would use this sponge, I guess, to go like this. I don't know, that's strange. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen for bronzer. But, so this, like I said, this is not new. Oh, that smells so good. But I have actually never bought this bronzer. So this is the bronzer that I got. However, I had to get the deepest one because this said it was deep bronze. And I'm sitting over here and I'm like, I don't even know that that's gonna be darker than my skin tone. And it's not. Can you see it? It's like right here. <laughs> Did I get the wrong one maybe? I don't know, let me know down below if you guys have this one. Did I get the wrong one? Okay, so these are all packaged together. And these are the Essence eyeshadow palettes I picked up. I saw one and I was like, oh my God, $3.99. I think one of them was $2.99. $3.99 for these and they're so stinking cute. And I was like, $3.99, do I need to say more? Do we understand? Like $3.99? So this one is, I like to mauve it. I like to mauve it. So it's going to be mauves. I don't know that I would say these are mauves more than they are purples, cool tone, lavenders. Let's give a shimmer a go and let's give a matte a go. So those are the two. Oh wow, they're actually not terrible. The matte's a little patchy, but with swatches, you really just never know if I'm being honest. We all know how it goes with swatches. So if you guys wanna see any look, just let me know which um, palette you wanna see looks from so I can get them up for you. But I think these are gonna be super easy to like do like quick looks and then on the go. Like I feel like I could take these and God forbid something happens to them, it was $3.99. This one is is Coral Me Maybe. Ooh, so that's what this one looks like. Okay, definitely corally. So the shimmers are really nice. The mattes are kind of meh. They're okay. Ice Ice Baby is the next one. Ooh, ooh my gosh, these are so pretty. You know I'm gonna swatch that blue. Oh, that has a lot of all out, but it's a blue. So, oh my God, look at that blue. Oh, it's what that one swatches so nicely. It's a little patchy, but that pigmented, guys. Okay, so I'm kind of loving these. And for $3.99, then I have Dancing Green. Oh, love this. And I love like the brown green they have going on. Oh, okay. And then bronzed this way. So it says bronze, but it's kind of like a really deep orange, but it is like a red. It's definitely a red tone palette. So those two are the ones from that one. Some of these shimmers are definitely better than others and some of the mattes are more pigmented and better than others, but I really like them. And I think for $3.99, that's not bad. So I'm glad that I picked those up. And then I got two of the So Juicy Plumping Lip Glosses in clear. I ran out of this one. This is my favorite ColourPop lip gloss. I got the whole collection a long time ago and this was the one I liked the most. I did not, oh, they changed the packaging since the last time I bought them. That's different, but I didn't like any of the shimmers really, but 
but I really, really like the clear plumping ones. So I got two of those, but that is not new to me. And those were $8 a piece. Oh, I got so much stuff. And then the next thing I got was the Morphe. I think this is the hydrating tinted moisturizer and I got it in medium glow six. So I'm gonna bring it here because you can't really see it because my ring light. So medium glow six and that was $18. I tried to get it a little bit darker on the website. Look how pale that is. It's too pale. So I'm gonna have to return that, exchange it for a darker shade. Like they just, their shade stuff is absolutely insane. Like look at the difference in the color. This is literally like tan, warm. This is literally like cool tone, super fair. This is a medium, a me- Look at my skin, I'm not even that dark. And then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the new blush stick that everyone is coming out with. I got it in Peachy Keen, $32. So jot that down, ladies and gentlemen. But I have been really liking a cream blush stick and just like all of the other ones, it comes with a beautiful cream blush. That is pretty cute. I do love peachy colors, that's my thing. And I've been loving cream blushes. And then this one also comes with a brush. This reminds me of the Makeup by Mario. Wow, that picked completely up. That brush like picked up the product clear off my hand. You can kind of still see it, but it really picked up. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try that. Ooh, ooh. Hopefully that is not the case because that will suck. I got a refill on my favorite primer. This actually is one of my favorite drugstore primers and this is the Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So the reason that I love this one so much is because it reminds me of my favorite high-end primer, which is Milk Makeup Hydra Grip. It just has the same feeling and this one is much cheaper. So that was a refill. That's not a new one for me. That one was $10 and we're getting, I have so much stuff in here. So I got another hydrating foundation. This one is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Aloe Vera. 24 hour long lasting hydration. Okay, so that's what the color looks like on the package. Let's hope it has better color coordination than Morphe's. But this one was really inexpensive. This one was $6.99. I've been really, really loving this brand. Essence, like really, they have some really good stuff. Oh it's sealed. All right, so I'm just gonna blend this in. So that is much closer to my skin tone. It's a little bit light, but I can bronze it up because I am, my arms are much darker right now than my face. But if you look like that, like that's gonna blend like a dream onto my skin. Um, unfortunately, the Morphe one is going to be way too light and way too cool tone. So I also got the Cream Contour and Highlight Sticks by KKW Beauty in the shade Medium. So I never actually got these because I found that they were really just terribly expensive for the amount of product you get and let me let me show you okay that's it <laughs> I mean if you're not new to the beauty community you know the whole craziness that is the KKW beauty contour highlight first launch issue but I figured since all of her stuff is currently like half off at Ulta I figured I would buy it it was $16 for this instead of 32 so I also got another KKW beauty product and this is a lip gloss in the shade nude 4 which was $10 instead of 20. They do not have a lot of her products left because I mean, once it dropped to that, obviously like they sold very fast. So that is the color. Ooh, that's actually beautiful. I also did another haul. So she did her, I did a small haul from her first like 20 to 40% off situation and then she put more stuff. So stuff that was not originally when she first announced, I'm closing down, we're relaunching. Some stuff was not on her sale. So I went to check again to see if she put more stuff and she did, so I bought more stuff. So I will be showing you guys once I get that in, but Ulta doesn't have a lot left. So I figured, you know what? Let me just grab these things. I've always wanted to try them. They're not gonna get any cheaper than half off. So the next two things I got are the Quad Goals Multi Palette by Morphe 2. If you don't know who that is, this is Morphe's sister store, if you will. So I got Fresh Peach and Stay Golden. These were $16 a piece. Now, I don't know anything about these. They were on Ulta and I said, hmm, yeah, all right. And I bought them. So it is a face palette. So you have Sunbeams, which is for the eyes, Rich Rose, which is for the cheeks, Caramel, which is for the lips, and Sparkles, which is for the face. So let's take a look. So this is what it looks like. It looks like just one of those stacks. I forget what brand had these and I had one like this. I got it from TJ Maxx and it was really, really unfortunate because it was really cheap and it broke very easy. So that's really pretty. Wow. Like, I don't know if you can see that. 
that's so pretty. So this is the next one, which I believe is Rich Rose. And then that's the color. Oh yeah, so that's definitely for the lips because that's a cream product. Ooh, I love that. I'm kind of loving all of this. And you only get one mirror on it. So it's like only at the top. This is supposed to be for my face. Look at this. Look how chunky of a sparkle. I'm not putting that on my face. My girls will love that, but I am never. I think this is kind of t geared towards the younger crowd, but like it's legitimately glitter chunks. So that's gonna be a no for me. I do really like the other parts of it. Let's move on to the fresh peach one. I don't think I'm gonna do swatches for this one. I'm just gonna kind of show you guys. So this one is like more of a peachy one where the other one was more nude. And you have peach swirl for the eyes, papaya for the cheeks, coral for the lips, and sorbet for the face. This one is super bright. That is the cheek. That is cute for the lip. Sorbet for the face. So this one is not chunky glitter. This is more of a cream. Are they all different then? So this one is more of just like a creamy. I just assumed that that one would be chunky glitter. Like this one is chunky glitter, but this is a chunk where this one is a cream shimmer. So I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'll try them out. I'll let you guys know my thoughts. If you want to see like a full thing done, maybe I'll do like a no makeup makeup look with those because I think that would be perfect and then the next thing i got was the filler instinct by nyx and i think this was like five dollars and i love clear glosses and for some reason so plumping lip glosses do not work for me. they don't make my lips look any bigger but i like how they feel if that makes sense at all like i like the tingling it's so weird but i do yes this was on clearance or sale for five dollars i decided i would pick it up it doesn't have a smell either which is weird usually it has like a pepperminty smell we'll see what it does and then the next thing I got was Kylie Skin. I know you guys know I love her cosmetics line, but I've never gotten anything Kylie Skin. However, this is a makeup melting cleanser. I'm just very picky about my skincare when it comes to moisturizer and face oils and all that. So I was like, well, I do love a good melting makeup like cleanser because I do like to double cleanse. So I'm excited to try this. I don't know what is in store for me, but it looks nice. It's pretty um, and hopefully it will work. So it says apply to wet skin morning and evening massage over and entire face and rinse with warm water. Close your eyes while applying on your face. Thought it was gonna be like the, um, like the wishful, oh, that smells really good. Like the wishful skin, like that's what I thought it was, but I think this is just a cleanser. I don't, eh, we'll try it, we'll try. We will try, and that was $28. The next thing I got was this hairbrush. This is the Tangle Teaser Detangling Hairbrush. I got it for my daughters because this, it doesn't matter what you do. There's no detangling this hair is all I'm saying, okay? So for me, it just really, it is what it is. I kind of just have to deal with it. But I thought my girls would really like this. I've heard really good reviews about it. So let's see if we can, yeah, no, no. Like my hair is so, <laughs> okay. Not for curly hair. That's okay, we're gonna give it to my girls. That's who it was intended for. So that was $14. And then the last but not, you would think with all the money I spent, they would have sent me some kind of samples of some kind. Mm -hmm. Also, this gloss is doing nothing. There's no tingling, there's no, there's no, it's just clear gloss. So that's weird. But the last thing I got was this ColourPop palette. This is the High Tide. Actually, I saw Lindsay, she is someone who has subscribed to me on here, and she showed the palette on her Instagram and I believe she did a look with it and it was so pretty and I was just like I need to have that palette however like there's no mirror or nothing like this is really feels very light but these oh, they match my hair like I just could not not get this palette when I saw it on Ulta I was like yep I'm getting it I didn't want to make a separate order on Colourpop but when I saw that they had it on Ulta I was like oh, you're mine however for $14 I'm gonna be picky I wish there were a mirror like this feels very very cheap which is super weird because their palettes usually feel okay I mean they don't feel the most obvious extravagant but they usually feel pretty okay but that is the last item in this Ulta haul I think it was a decent haul. I'm definitely going to have to go back to Ulta to exchange that um, foundation that I got, but I think I'm most intrigued by these and this foundation. Like I'm really excited to try these, so I'm going to somehow incorporate them, whether it be a shorts video, whether it be a regular review video. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up for me, and as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!